All right, good evening and welcome to Centralia College. We are at uh, the Michael Smith Gymnasium on the Watterson Court. I'm Wade Fisher. And I'm Jake Halligan. And we will be bringing you tonight's double header. We have the uh, Pierce College Raiders coming into Centralia to take on the Trailblazers tonight, starting with the women's team. And uh, it should be a fun game because both teams are, are pretty good. They're both in the playoffs. So we have Centralia at eight and three. Pierce right behind him at seven and four. And um, for the season, Centralia 14 and 12, 11 and 14 for Pierce College. So both in the playoffs, this is kind of maybe a preview of what we might see in the playoffs when these two uh, may have to face off against each other. Hopefully they won't, they'll play somebody. We, you know, once they get the uh, brackets going, we'll figure all that out. But it should be a, a good game tonight. 100%. Just looking over the uh, players. Centralia, so what's interesting about Centralia is, you know, we didn't have a women's team last year, and so we're made up of all freshmen. And usually today would be, it's the last game of the uh, season, home home game at least, and uh, it's usually sophomore night, which we'll see in the men's game. But they're doing good, they made the playoffs. Yeah, 100%. It's, uh, it's pretty, impression, pretty impressive from an all-freshman team. Uh, and you know, this game I feel like is almost make or break for the playoffs and how the momentum is going to go for the rest of the season. Uh, yeah. Being if Pierce wins, they now have a tied record, but if Centralia wins, they could just, you know, extend that gap even further. So Exactly, yeah. And, and I don't really have the stats of who won the first meeting between the two. We could probably look that up later. Um, but, you know, maybe there might be a tiebreaker there and yeah. whoever wins this, uh, 100%. hopefully uh, Centralia will be doing a good job here and get that get the win so coach Tiffany Tweedy we're going to be going to uh, Jerry Owens well I think we're going to have to probably give you the starting lineups as they will repeat them but I think we'll be doing a pledge of allegiance here in a second so game's about to get underway and Teague you will be handing, handling the play by play so let's see what Jerry Owens says here We'll try to repeat it as we hear it. Nice little crowd for a very windy and rainy <laughs> yeah. evening. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very glad to be inside right now. Yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> Definitely. So we'll see what it's like outside when the games, the games are over tonight. Hopefully not a lot of flooding out there. Oh, yeah. But if you are driving around, come in out of the wet and come and watch the games. So we're just about, well, there we go with Jerry. So we will start with the national anthem. long version of the national anthem here. Some technical difficulties here early. Yes, that doesn't bode well for our broadcast tonight. Oh no. <laughs> we'll try to get that going here in a second. It's technology. Yeah. And Murphy's Law. There we go.
All right, so I don't know if they heard those. We'll give those to you after we get the Centralia. Okay, before we get underway, let's go over the uh, starting lineup for Pierce. We have Leslie Lu Luna, a uh, guard out of Westover, Utah, <coughs> stands at five foot seven. Jordan Peterson, she's another guard, five foot six, Skahomish, Washington. Uh, Krishara Romain, out of Lacey, she's a five ten Ford guard slash guard. We have Taya Parker, out of West Valley, Utah, stands at five six, and Abuka Aja who is uh, six foot tall. She's a Ford out of West Valley, Utah. Do you want to do the lineups for uh, Centralia there? Yeah, it'd be, be my pleasure. So for the Trailblazers, we'll be starting off with uh, Good game. number zero, Melitova Fonia, uh, freshman. All these are going to be freshmen. Freshman center from Reno, Nevada. And then Foye Pula, number two, guard from Spanaway, Washington. Uh, and our center. Kate. Kate back to number 20. She just missed the layup. 20 for Pierce takes it to well. Kaya Parker dumps it off to number 3. Jordan Peterson. Peterson running to the right. Pass off to number 2. Leslie Luna. 5 7 guard.
30 foot, you know, three pointer. And I guess if you want to take your big shots, take them early. Yeah. So they don't pick up on them. Here's Kashar with the ball, started by Kate Carpenter in the center. Kashar driving through the lane, the left hand lay, just misses. Alatado off to one of the Barnett sisters, and tracked down by Kashara. And that'll be a travel on the Barnett sister. Maya. First ball. First ball. So it looks like a substitute for uh, the Trailblazers. Yep. Number 23 comes in, Ellie Fleming, replacing uh, one of the Barnett sisters, Marcia. Here's Jordan Peterson, about half court. And Dorka Jang dumps it off to number two, Leslie. This is one of the Barnett sisters, and guarded by Leslie. Number two, Bob. Oh, and that'll be a turnover. You'll try to get an inside pass, but just a little bit too high, yeah. but off of a Pierce player. So it looks like uh, we will have the ball. Here's Maya. Maya dumps it off to Ellie. Ellie got the ball for the first time this game so far. Kate, top of the key. Here's Ellie in the paint. And this is that right hand jumper. Now here's Kaya Parker taking up the ball. Started by Ellie, and swatted away by number two, Kaya. Here's Jordan, off to Kashar. Kashar for the three, misses. Eli with the rebound, or Ellie with the rebound, sorry. And Maya Barnett takes up the ball, passes it off to Kaya. Kaya being guarded heavily. Melatava, Ellie. Here's Maya at the top of the key, back to Ellie. Ellie surveying, surveying. Off to number two, and she's tripped up, and that'll be a tripping foul, and Centralia ball. Pierce with a swarming defense. Uh, you'll notice when the player has the ball, a lot of the Pierce players will have it. They're susceptible for the backside of the court because there's people open. 100%. So Maya will take up the ball here for the inbound pass. Some movement. Dumps off to Kate at the top of the key. Guarded by Ajeng, and she steals the ball. Ajeng up to the court, dumps off to Kashar. She misses the right hand lay. Ajeng with the putback. Oh, just misses. Kashar with the lay. So two putbacks. Kashar makes it. Yeah, by first two points for Pierce. To Ellie. Ellie guarded heavily. There we go. Ajeng with another steal. She's driving up the court here. Guarded by Kate. She makes. And the foul. That's a nice and one by Ajeng. Yeah, in, in, a, in the women's game, we're playing four 10 minute quarters. The men just play the 20 minute halves. So, not a lot of scoring here at the beginning of this game. Pierce has brought it within one now after Centralia started off with a 6 0 lead in the first half. Substitute for Centralia. Couple, couple players going out. Looks like Kylie Lang. Be coming in. And Melatava. Kylie's taking up the ball. She's got a half court. She dumps it off to the bar, one of the half the Barnett sisters. Ellie, back to Kylie. Some good defense here by Pierce. Kate, cross court pass is stolen by number two, Leslie Luna on Pierce. She dumps it off to Ajang. And she makes the right hand roll once again. Pierce, Pierce will take the first lead of the game, too. Kyle, by again. Is it too low? Just a shot. So this is a You can touch this one for your headphones. Okay. All right. Excuse us for the technical difficulties, but we're trying to figure out our headset settings. There seems to be a timeout. Yeah. A little right. bit of a technical difficulties there. What have you seen in the first half? Uh, well, so looks far. like both teams are uh, just a little rusty. Yet. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, it's probably a tough warm-up. It's cold outside, you know, and 
both teams have been actually, in my opinion, um, very pass heavy so far. Mm -hmm. I think Pierce has done a really good job of picking up uh, some of the sloppy passes that Centralia has been, you know, yeah. putting themselves in, the situations they're in. A lot of cross court passes that um, Ajang and Kishar are uh, just kind of tipping out of the air and grabbing it for themselves. And that's why Pierce has got a 7 6 lead. Right. right. I think their uh, defense has, has, Pierce's defense has forced Centralia to try those pass court. Uh, passes and then uh, they're like you mentioned they're able to deflect some of those but at the start of the game uh, you know Centralia came out pretty fast and they uh, had some really good passes although you could see that there were a couple that were maybe you know a little risque right. that they got early but now I think uh, Pierce has adjusted a little bit so here we go yeah, Ellie, Marcia, Kate, Kylie before you on the court for Centralia. So far, a pretty close game here. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go in half. Here's Jordan Peterson taking up the ball for Pierce. She'll be guarded by Leslie Luna. She drops it off to number 20. And Ellie takes the ball. Kate back to Ellie. Ellie guarded heavily by 20. Kyle Parker. Ellie jumps up to Kylie. Marcia tripped on the court here. It's number two, Foyer. Looks like she'll get two shots. So for Centralia, Marcia Bennett, or Barnett, she's got her leg wrapped. And uh, she just kind of fell a little bit earlier. Yeah. I'm not sure if she tripped or whatever, but they'll bring her out to give her a little bit of rest. It looks like she's okay, though. Yeah. Kind of shaking up. Really ties it up. Uh, I think it's on YouTube. It's probably YouTube foyer, free throw line. She's made her first free throw. I think they do. A little bit delayed here. Do we have the automatic? Rick has a thing from home. He can do it. That's what she said. This way, second attempt. Drain. Uh, the Trailblazers just take an 8 7 lead. As Kishara dumps it off to Kaya Parker. Back to Kishara. She's taking her court. She's about half court. Kate's picking her up here. Char's calling place here. She drives towards the lane. And there's a foul on Kate. Oh. Yeah, 3.42 left in this first quarter. We have here. Mm -hmm. It's Trey with three team fouls and Pierce with two. Here's Kashara with her free throw attempt. Number 12 is subbed into the game for Pierce. That would be Holly Hataya. Hataya with the face mask. Very unique look. Kashara for a second attempt. Drains it. Now Pierce has taken it. 9 8 lead against the Trailblazers. Ellie tries to find a tipped off by Maya Barnett. Again, another uh, one of those passes that we've seen earlier. Just a little bit off the mark, and Pierce able to deflect it. There's yeah. Kaya. Kaya to Jane. Again, tempting the three pointer, but guarded heavily. There's a little bit of step on half court there. Falls loose. Number 15 for Pierce has picked it up. She's driving towards the lane. Jumps off number 20, Taya driving towards the lane with the right hand leg, and she makes it. Nice little move by her, very patient with her shot. Yeah. Just went up and around uh, one of the Centralia players. Yeah, that was a very nice move by Taya Parker. Yeah, laid it way high off the backboard, too. Mm -hmm. a couple substitutes coming in. Kali Lawrence, Kaylee Lawrence coming in for Centralia. And 3.08 left the first quarter. 
Uh, Pierce up 11 to 8. Both teams again have made the uh, are in the playoffs. So and but they're pretty close with uh, Pierce 7-4 and uh, Centralia 8 and 3. So this game definitely has seeding implications. Yes. Like we said earlier, I mean, if Centralia uh, were to win this game, it would definitely, you know, help the gap between them and Pierce as they're so close. But if Pierce were to pull this game out, then they would be tied in seeding and it'd be a, you know, a tougher ride for Centralia. Yeah, after a year of absence, the Centralia women's team is back in action. I noticed that uh, Grace Harbor does not have a women's team this year. And last year, Centralia didn't. So I'm not sure uh, what the situation with Grace Harbor is, if they will field a team next year or not. I know they've been having some problems uh, there. But they do have a men's team, so. It's a little bit of a lengthy time up by Pierce here. Yeah, like we had an injured player. Uh, we, she went out a minute ago. I see. She might have got, uh, might have dropped a little bit of blood mm. on the court. Looks like they're cleaning up. Might have got uh, bumped into or those things happen. So it looks like she went to the locker room, but she looked fine, so. Yeah. But I think they just got to clean up a little bit. That's the lengthy delay here. And again, thanks for tuning in. We were at Watterson Court in the Michael Smith Gymnasium on the campus of Centralia College here in Lewis County. How about that? Yeah. Well, get all those things in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a million names, but we're proud of all those names, so. That's right. And Centralia, yeah, they, they missed a year last year, but they've got the team together, and they're, they're making the playoffs at 8-3, and 14-12 and 12, mm -hmm. uh, for the season. Coach Joe and one of his players are doing a number on the court right now, yeah. along with uh, all the soccer coaches, I believe. Yeah, Clarence Gunnerson. Yeah, yeah. He's out there, and Jason Moore is uh, the old basketball coach pointing. Yeah. <laughs> you need someone to point, got to have that. Yeah. And so, yeah, very lengthy timeout. That's okay. So we don't know if that was a bloody nose or whatever, uh, but they want to make sure people don't slip on the court. Right. A few substitutions here. Uh, Melitava is back in the game here, but Callie Lawrence and Alyssa Vanderberg are going to be entering the game here off the bench for the Trailblazers. Lawrence out of on Alaska and uh, Vanderberg out of Ch Chimayakum. Here's Maya Barnett taking up the ball. Picked up by half court up by a Jang. Off to Ellie. A Jang tips the ball again. That's once again another steal. That'll be Pierce Ball. Yeah. A Jang doing a really nice job of using her height as her advantage. Right. She's 6'1 and has got a nice long reach there, able to deflect some of those balls. All right. Some more substitutions coming in. Let's try to sort that out as we go here because we're doing them quick. <laughs> Both Barnett sisters are in now, uh, along with Foyer. Here's Taya for Pierce. Taya, bounce pass number 12. Holly, Holly, here's the ball just, ta just a tag. Back off to Taya. Taya's at half court, asking for a screen from the gang. She gets it partially. Taya looking, looking, dumps it off to Holly. Holly with the right hand lay. Misses. That'll be picked up by number 30, Marcio. Getting off to Foyer. Foyer guarded by a Jang. The lengthy forward for Pierce. Off to Maya. Almost mm -hmm. stolen by Pierce player. Almost over and back to number 34, Maya again. She's taking up the ball. She dumps it off. Out of bounds. Just out of the reach of Alyssa Vanderberg near the baseline. The passes seem to be a problem for Centralia so far. Yeah. I think they're just trying to deal with uh, the height that a Jank brings. And, guard, and being a forward, she's kind of in the action the whole time. So she's number two. She attempts the three as she as it go, just goes through the hands of a Jank. I believe that'll be a jump ball. It's nice of Foyer to help. The Pierce player, number 15, Layla Cheney. Uh, Good to see the Washington. good sportsmanship out there, too. Yes. 
Pierce with a three-point lead now, 11 to eight, with two minutes to go. Here's number 15, Layla. Misses that three-pointer. Getting some assurance from her teammates. Second attempt. Thanks to them. That'll make it a four point lead. A little backspin on that, hit it off the backboard. Yeah. Here's Maya. Maya gives it off to number two. The other Barnett sister takes the corner three attempt, misses. Falls in Polly's hand off to Taya. Taya is jogging a court, asking for a screen. Here's Jang. Jang's got the ball. At the three-point line, she comes up number two. Goes back to the Jang in the post. I believe that'll be Centralia really ball. Couldn't tell you what the call was there, but yeah, I didn't see that either. Here's Maya. She seems to be the main ball carrier for the Trailblazers. Off to Foyer. Foyer driving through the lane. That's the right-hand lay. That'll be Call a blocking foul. foul. Yeah. Almost looks like a charge, though. I couldn't see the, the call there with the referee right in my peripheral. Yeah, they called it a blocking foul. Mm. But it almost was a charge. It was real close. Yeah. yeah Pierce did a nice job of, uh, the Pierce player did a nice job of that. So, the first thing. Bangs it off the back of the rim. Here's Foyer once again. Drains that one. Okay, close the lead to three points here. A minute 30 left. Here's Taya. Taya calling the plays. She's off to number two, Leslie. Leslie Surbank takes the deep three. Almost banks it in. That's a nice rebound. By the, oh, Leslie grabs her own shot. Gives it back to 15. Oh, it's almost stolen by Foyer. Here's Taya Parker with the three pointer. Almost banks that one in. Here's a Jang with the right hand lay. Yeah, I think a Jang is doing a really nice job of just keeping the pace of play up for Pierce, and she seems to be the main difference maker. For yeah, game. definitely using her height too. Yeah. Here's Maya with the ball. Melatava to the Barnett sister Marcia to Maya. Off to Melatava. Melatava fighting. Maya got swatted by number two, and here's a Jang. Up the lane, easy left hand lay. And now Pierce has a seven point lead here, with about 30 seconds to go. Here's Maya bringing up the ball, guarded by a Jang. Jang, a Jang almost swatted Marcia. That'll be out of bounds. 19 on. seconds on that shot clock. Yep. That'll be out of bounds on Pierce, so that'll be a Centralia ball. Substitute. Ellie comes in for Alyssa Vanderberg. Causing some havoc there. Here's Maya. Maya surveying, guarded heavily by a Jang as usual. Here's Marcia with a deep three. He bangs it off the rim as Ty is taking it up. Quick, here's a Jang. Grabs the ball. Goes off to Leslie. Leslie with the corner three. Just misses that one. Yeah, it looks like she stepped out. Yeah. That'll be some trailer ball. About three seconds left in this first quarter. Mm. Full court press by Pierce. So it's a Jang and Leslie. Or Leslie, excuse me. Are guarding the Barnett sisters. She dumps it off to Maya. Maya, Good full head of steam, running right up the left side of the court here. She's coming through the baseline. She tries to make right hand lay. The shot clock goes off. And Noah Tava was with a putback. Gets it off before the buzzer. That was a long three seconds. That was a long three seconds. You're right. Uh, but the Blazers have brought it within five uh, just before half. So, you know, interesting. Uh, so the Blazers started off with a quick six points, and then it seemed like a long dry spell there. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the first quarter, they only have 11 points. Uh, the pace at the beginning, maybe the first two minutes, you thought they'd be, you know, up by a lot. Yeah. It seemed to... Uh, Maybe they tired themselves out a little too quickly. They're getting a little too aggressive. Yeah. Um, maybe 
for this next half. They need to let the game come to them. Yeah. Um, kind of like how Pierce is doing. Pierce is doing a really nice job of being patient. They they made some good adjustments on defense there. Yes. And uh, you are right about their center, uh, Abuk Ajing. Ajing. Ajing, yeah. She, uh, man, uses her height to her advantage, definitely. Yeah. Uh, deflected a lot of passes, able to get some nice layups in. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think Centre was getting frustrated at the end, starting to shooting a lot of f just threes. Yeah. Because they could not get in uh, any penetration into the the paint there, so they started to settle on threes. I'm sure the coach is talking to them about that. Yeah. Kylie Lang comes back onto the court with uh, tissue in her nose, so she was the one who had to leave. Mm. Um, good to see her back now. Now we are underway for the next 10 minute period of Centralia versus Pierce women's basketball. Here's Kashara. Inbounds it to Taya. Taya back to Kashara. Kashara calling the plays here for Pierce. Guarded by Kate Carpenter. Carpenter doing a really nice job of keeping Kashara under wraps. Kashara again, top of the key. Kate guarding her heavily with the right hand lay. This is that one. Here's Maya bringing up the ball. Gives it off to Melitava. Not Melitava, excuse me. That'll be Foyer. Now Ajang gives it off to Kashara. Kashara guarded by Kate with the alley. Or excuse me, the Euro step. That's a missed ball. Contact made at her third the basket against Kashara. That's her third already. Yes. That's why she was not happy with that. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, you know, the tallest player for Centralia. Is, well, she's actually what? Let me see. Where'd she go? She's not very happy with those early calls on her. Mm -hmm. Char misses both. Melitava with the rebound. Here's Maya. Slowing things down for the Blazers as they're getting set for the next play they're going to run. Foye with the ball. Gives off to Maya once again. Guarded by Jang. Ellie guarded by Kashara. At the point. Dumps it off to Maya. Barnett to Barnett. Here on the baseline. Oh, and the ball just gets out of the hands of number two. A little Foye. miscommunication there, it looked like. So she threw it a little bit too hard as uh, the player was coming in for the pass. Yes. Kyle will bring up the ball for Pierce. Guarded by Foyer. Here's a Jane. With the three-point line. Gives it off to Kashara. Kashara to Leslie. Leslie to a Jang in the post with the right-hand lay, and she makes it. Wow, a Jang has put together a really nice showing so far in this game, having most points for Pierce. Here's number two for the Trailblazers. She misses the layup, missing contact at the basket. That will give her a chance for two free points here and a possible uh, five-point deficit. Yeah, taking it strong to the hoop and just getting the foul. Yeah. We'll say the Trailblazers are doing a really good job of being aggressive towards the hoop, mm -hmm. uh, but so has Pierce. Uh, a lot of post moves by primarily a Jang, but uh, Kishara's doing a really nice job of giving the ball off to a Jang, so. Here's Taya up the right-hand court. Almost stolen by one of the Barnett sisters, Leslie, with a little floater. And there will be a jump ball between Layla, or excuse me, number 12 for Pierce, Holly, and Ellie. Still a full court press by Pierce. It seems to bother Centre a little bit. Yeah, Pierce being fairly aggressive in the second half so far. Here's Marcia. Foyer surveying, guarded by Taya. Here's Maya, guarded by Jang, Pierce's best defender. Number two, Foyer. Another shot clock. Eight, seven. Six, five, yeah. four, three, two. There's a shot by Foyer. Right at the end. Off the backboard. 
Yeah, you know, forced to take a bad shot because of the shot clock there. Yeah. So it went a little bit high and off the backboard. Yeah. I saw Militava with a smart play of booting the ball out of bounds. Um, so Pierce couldn't get any momentum in the post like they have been. I think it's primarily where all their points have come from. And so Leslie will take up the ball. Here's a Jang. A little errant pass to half court. Dumped off to Taya. Started by number two, Koye. Taya calling plays. Drop clock at 15. Here's a Jang on the baseline. Pass off to Kashara. Kashara in the post. Off to a Jang once again. A Jang stripped the ball from there was Marcia. Marcia driving up the court, guarded by Kashara. Gives it off to Foye. Foye back to Marcia. Off to Ellie Fleming. Here's the two point jumper. Misses. Taya with the rebound. Here's Taya bringing up the court for Pierce. Taya gives off to a Jang. Jang on the baseline. Half spin move back to Taya. Taya off to Kishara. Kishara, short game on the key. And to Taya. Taya driving towards the baseline. And that'll be a travel on Taya. So that'll be Centralia ball. And there's six minutes, 57 seconds here in this half for Centralia. See if they can close that gap. Here's a substitution. Here's Alyssa Vanderberg placing Malatava. Here's Maya. Butter by a Jang. Driving up the court by the Watterson Court signature. Here's Ellie with the mid-range jumper and she drains it. And that's Centralia with a three-point deficit. Here's Kaya at half court. At the top of the key, here's Kashara driving around on the right side with a mid-range jumper. Misses. Here's a defensive rebound by Maya. And given off to Foyer. Foyer. Cross-court pass to one of the Barnett sisters to Ellie. Ellie at the three-point line, attempting the three-pointer. Off to Maya. Maya with the open three. Just misses. Here's Ellie with the offensive rebound. Ellie gives it off to Alyssa. Alyssa driving in the paint. Misses the right-handed lay. And now Pierce is Kashara. Slowing things down for Pierce. Got at the top of the three-point line by Ellie Fleming. Shard driving, comes off to Taya. Taya with a deep two. Hits it off the back of the rim. Alyssa with a defensive rebound. Timeout. And that'll be a timeout on Centralia. So Pierce still doing a good job getting it into the paint. Yes. Getting those shots off. Yeah, but I think uh, Centralia's doing a better job of kind of cornering their best offensive players, which would be, in my opinion, Kashara and Ajang, uh, primarily working in the post. Mm -hmm. um, Taya for Pierce is doing a good job of keeping the pace up for um, Pierce, but sometimes the pace can get a little too quick mm -hmm. for him, and then that's where these, uh, what we've seen so far, kind of sloppier passes, um, rebounding issues come mm -hmm. from. So, but Centralia with only a three-point deficit now with uh, you know, just a little under six minutes. It's like a lot of scoring in this game, a lot. Yeah, seems like a defensive battle yeah. so far. Yeah, it's been interesting how, uh, as we mentioned earlier, how uh, Centralia came out pretty hot, got yep. those quick six, and I think uh, Pierce made an, a little adjustment on their passes, right. and it's really caused Centralia a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So it looks like uh, Centralia being forced to keep it outside, trying to get it inside. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the shot we, the last shot, uh, this uh, Centralia player able to get her feet down and get a good look at the basket for once. So Layla Cheney has come into the game for Pierce. Layla, 5-4 guard from Duke Point, Washington. Leslie Luna inbounds the ball to Maya Barnett. Barnett at half court, picked up by a Jang, given off to her sister. Here's Foyer. Foyer driving towards the right side of the paint. Deeks the paint, goes on the three-point line. Here's Marcio, number 30. Maya, double teamed by a Jang. Maya, off number two, Foyer. Foyer driving towards the baseline. The right-hand lay, it's a traffic, and makes 
the right-handed jumper. So now, Centralia with a one-point deficit has made some noise in the second half. Nice shot by her. Here's Kishara. Dumps off to a Jang. A Jang to number two, Leslie Luna. Luna, the right-hand lay. Misses. Pick up by Ellie Fleming. Give off some uh, Marcia. Marcia, her sister, back to Marcia. With the three-pointer. And misses short. Leslie Luna taking up the ball for Pierce. Got her by Foyer. And she drives to the paint. Jang's got the ball on the baseline. That ball was dropped out of bounds by Ajang. Ajang a little banged up. But I believe that'll be, yep, that'll be a foul on Ajang. She'll take her two free points. So the uh, ref's having a little bit of a conference. Yeah. Trying to decide what type of foul she did receive. She was a shooting foul or just a, yep, just got two. Substitutes coming in. Subs in for Bianca Ortiz. Uh, we'll be subbing in for Mauricia Barnett, one half of the Barnett sisters. And Jordan Peterson will be back in the game for Pierce. Bianca thought a Jang was only going to get one point there. She uh, immediately started to guard a Jang after her first point. A Jang misses both. Ellie Fleming with the rebound, gives it off to Foyer. Foyer being tracked down by number three on Pierce. Foyer gives off to Maya, guarded by a Jang at half court. Foyer driving towards the paint. Ellie, open three, misses. Guarded by Kishara, the defensive rebound. And that'll be Pierce ball. It's just meters. It seems like there's a lot of contact going on out there. We're just going to have to watch that. Shaw will take the inbound pass. Better by Ellie Fleming. Shara, on the left side of the three point line, gives it off number two. And Jordan Peterson, the three point line, surveying. Jordan makes, er, she misses the three. There's another defensive rebound by Ellie Fleming. Ellie's done a good job of uh, handling the defensive rebound so far in the second half for Centralia Blazers. I think she's got two in the past minute. Listed at 5'8 out of Camus. <laughs> Another substitute. Here's Maya Barnett taking the inbound pass from Bianca. Maya. Half court, guarded by a Jang once again. Ellie Fleming switched to a Jang. And she dumps the ball off to Kashar. Kashar in the lane, the easy left hand lay. And now Centralia down three. Try to get something going here. Barnett trying to make something happen here. Driving through the lane, gives it off. It grabs the pass herself, deflected off of a Pierce player. I was, I was impressive and lucky. <laughs> yeah. she, she tried to dump it off to Militava and a Pierce player got a hand on it, but she ended up getting the ball back. Not only a one-point deficit again. The ball is stolen by a Centralia player. Maya with the ball. She takes the three. Misses. It'll be rebounded by Leslie Luna. Luna to Kishara. Kishara. And the jumper, but there is the whistle. Confused on what the call was here. So what are they? Technical foul? Yeah, seems to be. On the bench of Centralia, it looks like. I see. I think the, uh, one of the players on the court said it was a travel. Mm. And then I don't know what the coach said. Well, she's trying to argue her travel. Yeah, first one goes in. Leslie with the second attempt. Drains that one as well. Pierce now with 
Three-point lead once again. Kashara will be the inbounder, Pierce. Number three, Jordan Peterson took the ball. Off to Leslie Luna, guarded by Maya. Leslie driving through the paint, gives off to Ajang. Ajang in the post. Ajang off to number 15 and on Pierce. Kashara with the mid-range jumper. Just barely misses it. Another defensive rebound by Eli Ellie Fleming, but she is stripped. And number three, who dumps it off to Ajang. Now to be a five-point lead for Pierce. Maya to Ellie. Ellie guarded by Ajang. Ellie kind of stopped in her tracks there. Here's Maya with the three. She misses wide. And that'll be Pierce, uh, excuse me. Centralia ball. Here's Ellie. Ellie with a deep two. Misses to the left. There's a little bit of scuffle with Bianca and J Jordan Peterson near the rim. And that'll be Pierce Ball. Arrow pointing to Pierce, so. Yep. Substitute, well, maybe not. Yep, they'll get her in. Yep, Mauricia coming in for Ellie. Both Barnett sisters now on the floor for Centralia. Kashara taking up the ball. Raising her left hand, calling the play. Leslie, Leslie with the three-pointer, misses wide right. And it looks like Mauricio got to handle that ball, but Jordan Peterson seemed to have taken it away from her. And here's the floater of the three-point line. Kishara picks up the ball. After that errant floater. Off to a Jang, guarded by Alyssa Vanderberg. Subbed in for Centralia. Here's Jordan Peterson with a wide open three. And she bangs it in to Pierce. Pierce running away with the lead right now. With a, just a little under two minutes here. There's Maya to Alyssa. Alyssa back to another Barnett sister to Maya. My, the Barnett sister playing catch here. Here's Bianca with the left hand lay and she misses left. Now number 15 for Pierce. Layla Cheney driving up the left side of the court. Having some trouble. Dumps it off to Leslie. Leslie with another three for Pierce. Pierce now 30 to 19. Just a minute 26 left yep. in the second quarter. There's Maya, got by Jang, off to Mauricia, back to Maya. Maya, man to man covers with the Jang. There's Militava being double teamed, and Leslie steals the ball once again. She's bumped by Militava. That'll be Pierce ball. Seems to be a lot of uh, accidental bumping and uh, tripping. Yeah, uh, happening, and that seems to be most of the fouls so far. So, uh, I, I just I noticed with uh, Pierce when they're reaching, you know, for the ball, they're hitting, they're actually making physical contact with yeah. the Centralia players, and the the refs aren't calling that. Yeah, and that that can be frustrating after a while. So Leslie makes her first three point shot. Ty Parker is back in the game for Pierce. Leslie with her second attempt. Misses. The rebound by Militaba off to Maya Barnett. Maya slowing things down for Centralia. Bumps the ball off to Mauricia. Mauricia driving to the paint with a two-point jumper. Misses. Here's Alyssa Vanderberg. Vanderberg looking. That'll be a travel on Alyssa Vanderberg with 52 seconds left to go in this game. Centralia 19, Pierce 31. Leslie off to Taya. Taya jogging up the court. Comes off to number 15, Layla Cheney. Drives the middle of the lane with a right hand floater. She banks it in. Here's Maya. Calling plays for the Trailblazers. Gives off to Bianca at the three point line. Bianca to Mauricio. Mauricio the corner three as she makes it. Now Blazers trailing by 11 seconds to go with 23. Or sorry, 11 points, 23 seconds to go, excuse me. Jordan Peterson taking up the ball. She's 
driving through the lane, gives it off to Taya. Taya, a little crossover move to Mauricio, but boots it out of bounds. It'll be some trailer ball. Excuse me, that'll be Pierce. That'll be Pierce ball. Here's Taya. Guarded by Mauricio. That's off Jordan Pearson. Back to Ty in the lane. This is the right hand layup. And that is game. So that's at the half, 33-22. Pierce with the lead. And I, the Pierce defense is really bothering Centralia there. They're getting in the lanes. They're, it's a zone, basically. But they are really doing a good job of denying the passes uh, to the Centralia players. So we have a 15 minute halftime here and uh, the coaches will go in. We'll try to get the statistics for you before we start the second half. What do you think? Uh, what are you seeing in the first half here? Well, it seems like, um, you know, once Centralia started losing the lead just a little bit, and Pierce was chipping away. Um, I don't know if it was either uh, maybe a lack of motivation or uh, maybe just general tiredness, mm -hmm. uh, but it seemed like Pierce is running away with this game fairly quick right now. They have an 11-point lead uh, going to the half. So, Yeah, it seems like this should be a tune-up for the playoffs, too, because both teams have made the playoffs, and it's really positioning right now. Right. Uh, this game will count for that. And uh, But it looks like Pierce doing a really good job. I mean, if you watched them, you wouldn't think they were, as far as the records go, that first half. Uh, Central needs to – I think they just need to settle down a little bit and be careful with the passes. Yeah because they've been forcing some passes and uh, Pierce able to get the deflections. So it's going to be an interesting second half. Um, Centralia able to get that lead down to, uh, what, five points at one point? And uh, maybe even closer. They were down by two, I think. They, at one they were point, down by they? one. Were they down or by one? one? Yeah, one or two for a while. And um, the last five minutes of the uh, second quarter, man, Pierce yeah. just put a lot of pressure and got those... Got a, some quick points up there. Yeah. Made a couple threes and made a big difference in that yeah, second half. Leslie Luna, um, if I'm not mistaken, made two threes uh, in the first half towards the end of the uh, second quarter. And that definitely brought the lead up uh, for Pierce. And I think those are kind of like the daggers of this half. And I think uh, Centralia just needs to regroup, uh, you know, gain some more motivation to kind of pay attention. Uh, to the cross court passes, like, are, is it a smart move to? I see a lot from, um, you know, there was one where Ellie Fleming was about to dump it off back to uh, Mauricia Barnett, and a Jang once again tipped her hand up. Uh, a Jang doing a really nice job for Pierce. I think she's probably got about five steals this game. This game so far. Yeah, I think one of the biggest differences that we're not talking about that much is that. Uh, Kate Carpenter has three fouls. She's listed at 6'2", the tallest player on Centralia. And in all the other games that I've watched, she's really made a big difference. Mm. But she's been sitting out most most of that first half because of foul trouble. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they'll show up definitely playing the second half. But uh, having foul trouble like that, that's going to really kind of limit your game. And I think they really need her uh, in there, especially with, uh, with uh, the Pierce girl that's taller. Yeah. That would make a big difference there. Oh, yeah. But she picked up those fouls pretty quickly. Yeah, having a bigger presence would certainly help, uh, especially against uh, Kashara and uh, Abu Kajang. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I mean, I think that we had missed a lot of rebounding with her out. And uh, because she's Charlie, could probably get it. The inside play was just not there without her. Yeah. And so we'll see what happens in the second half. She's going to have to really watch her fouls. I know on that third foul, she was very frustrated because she she said, uh, you know, she was telling the ref, I didn't even touch her. Yeah. Um, and it didn't look like she did uh, in her defense. But, you know, the ref sees something different. And uh, so that's I think that's really been a big factor for Centralia. So we'll take about a 10-minute break, and we'll be back before the uh, second half hopefully with some statistics
stats for us. So we have some stats here, and we can look at those. Let's see if we get the, the thing hooked up right. So, yeah, about five minutes left in the, uh, the half. Let's see some stats here, because we uh, talked about that first half. At the uh, half, it's Pierce 33. Actually, uh, 22. What do you see on those stats? Oh, what's standing out to me so far is uh, Jang has got 11 points. Uh, that's I mean that just really isn't a standout. I mean she was dominating in the paint. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Very good defensive player too. Right, but only two steals yeah. accounted for so far, and I thought she had a little. Bit, I thought she had more personally, <laughs> but um, but Leslie Luna's doing a really good job on the rebounding spectrum. She's got six total rebounds uh, for the team, along with uh, Kashara as well. So. Uh, they're doing a good job of, you know, grabbing boards and uh, kind of frustrating Centralia, I bet. But um, so far, the so f I've been pronouncing her name wrong the entire broadcast, and I apologize. But uh, so it's a it's Fo uh, number two. Uh, she has seven points, which I mean she is uh, more of a uh, offensive presence towards the p in the paint. Uh, so it's. Not a surprise there, and I think she did make a three-pointer, if I'm not mistaken. So I think you're right on that one. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse me. She did not make a three-pointer. Oh, no, it wasn't her. Really. No, it must have been uh, at the free throw line that she gathered that one extra point. So, other than that, uh, the scoring on the Centralia side has been uh, minimal, but uh, so far, good pace by both teams. Uh, uh, just Pierce has just been dominating so far this game. Yeah, their defense has been uh, pretty, uh, I mean, they've been swarming all over, especially uh, Ajing. Ajing. You said she only had uh, two steals, but she I think she deflected a lot of the passes. Right. That's probably where she really made her mark in defense, was deflecting. Yeah. And uh, caused a lot of problems on those. Uh, when the offensive player for Central had the ball, she either blocked the pass or she got up and deflected the pass. So it doesn't reflect in the, uh, the statistics, but when she was out there, we could see that she was uh, really active as far as on the defensive end. Yeah. So, but 33-22, um, and uh, it seems like Stray was just having a hard time getting points, and uh, especially in the paint. Yeah, well, what I'm looking at so far is, uh, <laughs> excuse us, uh, that Centralia has five more turnovers than Pierce's 10, so 15 to 10, and that'll make or break a game no matter what, no yeah. matter how you shake it. So uh, turnovers are a big part of the game, and uh, I think if Centralia can minimize those turnovers, I believe that they could be able to pull this game out. Yeah, and again, I think, you know, with uh, Kate Carpenter in there, that that's going to help quite a bit because her presence in the paint was sorely missed. Yes. They, uh, you saw Centralia just trying to work it around the perimeter, and they took a lot of uh, maybe ill-advised threes. Mm. Um, clock, shot clock was winding down quite a bit. Uh, with Carpenter in there, I think that might change some things because they won't be able to focus just in the paint. They'll have to, uh, you know, they'll have her, but if they collapse on her, we'll have the people on the perimeter right. that are able to shoot a little bit more, and that'll open it up for, uh, for the offense at mm. least. So let's see. Um, Team rebounds, what do we have? Uh, 20, like you said, for Centralia, 22, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, they're pretty right? even. Yeah, yeah, you would think that Pierce would have had a lot more. It just seemed like they got a lot more rebounds there. And let's see, uh, five steals for Pierce, three for Centralia. Again, it seemed like they had more steals. Mm -hmm. And what else do we have here that we can look at? Uh, so three points, one of 10 for Centralia. And then but Pierce isn't doing not much better. Uh, so they're pretty even, other yeah. than the turnover in the point category. Yeah, um, I w it seemed like Pierce had more than two, three-point shots, but maybe yeah. maybe he didn't. Let's see what else do we have here that we can look at. As far as assists, six you mentioned that for um, oh personal fouls. What do we have? Anybody in foul trouble? Leslie Luna. Leslie Luna seems to be the only player on Pierce with foul have? trouble, but uh. Carpenter on our team, and uh, in with two, Alina Fleming has two, it looks yeah. like, so. 
So, it, I mean, statistic-wise, it's pretty close. But uh, Pierce with, what, 11, 11 point lead there. So it'll be interesting to see what they, the adjustments they make in the second half. Which yeah. is going to start in about, uh, about a couple three, seconds. About three, two, here. and <laughs> one. <laughs> We are now underway for the second half of Centralia versus Pierce women's basketball. So far, Pierce has got an 11-point lead here to start the third quarter. We got, Milita we got Tava at number zero, Centralia. Here's Mauricia, number 30. One half of the Barnett sisters inbounding the ball. Guarded by Leslie. L Get off to her twin sister, Maya. Maya to Mauricia. Mauricio to number two, Foe. Foe on the baseline, being guarded, double team. Gives up, bounces off of the Jang. Gets the ball back to herself. Cross court pass to Mauricia at the three point line, guarded by Leslie. Kate, who's back in the game here, gives it back to Foe. Foe, spin move with the right hand jumper and misses. Rebound by Maya, back to Foe. Foe on the baseline, the right hand lay, misses again. Now Jordan Pearson for Pierce. Foe, slow to get up. Here's Kashar at the three-point line, driving in, guarded by Kate with the right-hand lay. She misses. Rebound by Kate. Kate already making the presence for Centralia. Big presence. Here's Maya. Maya guarded by Jang. I believe we'll see that matchup all night. Here's Mauricia. Switched off with the Jang. Here's Foe. Back to Maya. Maya trying to get something started here, but good defense by Pierce. Here's Maya with the floater. Now... Centralia making quick work so far of this third quarter. Taya for Pierce taking up the ball. Set the three-point line. She gives off to Kashara in the corner, the left corner. She takes the three. She bangs it in. They're able to get her feet down and set and just took her time. No one uh, really contested that. Yep. So. That was a patient shot by Kashara. Here's Maya. Off to Mauricia. Mauricia to Foe. Foe, trying to call the plays here to Tava. Tava, looking, looking. Centralia, trying to get a play going here. Nine seconds left on the play clock. Here's Mauricia, gives off to her sister Maya. Maya, trying to get through the lane. Gives off to Tava, good pass. Tava with the right hand lay, misses. Uh, almost offensive rebound. But it'll come up with Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson running up mid court. Gives off to Leslie in the corner, guarded by Maya. She misses the corner three. Kashara picks up the offensive rebound. Dumps it back off to Jordan. Ran up the baseline. Now she hit. dumps it off to a Jang. A Jang blocked by Kate. And that'll be Kate's fourth foul already. Oh, they don't want that to happen. That's not good. You can feel a difference in the play with her in the middle. Mm -hmm. so Kate being subbed out early so far for Ellie Fleming. Yeah. That's not good for Centralia. They really needed that, the big presence in the middle. It really kind of changed a little dynamic in the game here. Yeah, it gave some confidence uh, for, you know, in the post, for especially offensive and defensively, really. Mm -hmm. So that'll be back to the task of guarding the two big players on Pierce, Ajang and Kashara. Kishara, or Ajang with her second shot. She misses. So take up the balls for Centralia. Guarded by Jordan Peterson. Crosses Jordan Peterson up. But the left hand lay. She misses the end one. But she'll have a chance at the free throw line. And for two extra points for Centralia. Yeah, I can see the frustration in uh, Kate Carpenter sitting on the bench over there. She, uh, it's for like, what am I doing different? You know, right. why, are the, why am I getting these fouls tonight when I haven't? in this whole season. You know, big players, um, especially centers and tall forwards, they probably get in foul trouble the most just because they're more physical. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, and how they move can be, you know, choppier than maybe more of an elusive guard. Uh, so when refs see more of a choppy movement, they think it's almost like an intentional yeah. uh, sort of foul. But I don't think Kate's doing anything intentional to keep her out of this game. Right. Here's Taya. She gives it off to Kishara. Almost tipped out of bounds. She hits the side of the backboard. Ellie fighting for the ball. But good defensive rebound by the Centralia rebounds leader so far. Here's Foe. Foe to Ellie. Ellie for the three-pointer. It's off the back of the rim. 
Defensive rebound by Jordan Peterson. She's climbing up half court. Finds a seam to Kashar. Kashar with the right hand lay. Pierce with 38. There's Maya to Foe. Foe guarded by Jordan. Kashar hovering, but here's Foe off the baseline. I believe that'll be Australia ball. So that must have been a foul. On Kashara. Here's Maya. Maya with the three pointer. Quick three pointer. Misses long. Taya with the rebound. Taya driving up. Only Ellie in the paint. Ellie doing a good job of defense, but Taya <laughs> with kind of a you know sports center esque shot. She's falling backwards. She hits it high off the backboard and, you know, and it, banks it in. I don't know how that even went in. Ah, yeah. That was just. Uh, it was kind of like a prayer of a shot. Yeah, it was you know impressive, but. Got to look, turn around, and go. I meant to do that. <laughs> so, Kylie Lang, Lang, coming into the game, she switched her jerseys because of the um, her apparent nosebleed. She's now wearing number 22. She's guarded by Leslie. Leslie, hard man-to-man -man defense. She dumps the ball off to Maya. Maya to Tava, Tava misses the right hand lay. Oh, but then Ellie brings up with the ball. Kishara, oh, with the almost tough defensive rebound. Kishara with some good effort. Kishara, yeah. the sophomore out of Lacey Washington. So Pierce putting on a, putting on a good defensive show tonight. Mm -hmm. He's swarming all over Centralia. And with Kate Carpenter out, but Leslie, Gives the ball off to Kishara. Kishara in the lane. Ellie guarding her. That'll be another two points for Pierce. It's Kylie. Kylie. Cross up Leslie. And now Foe with the ball. Foe passes off to Maya at half court. Kishara guarding her heavily. Maya driving through the paint. Dumps it off to number 23, Ellie. Ellie with the spin move and the finish and the end one. What a great finish by number 23, Ellie Fleming. And the potential extra point here to bring Centralia within another. Second foul. Here's Ellie with the free point. She misses. Picked up by Maya. Maya with the two, po with the two point layup. Now Centralia getting one more point than they wanted, which is always good for them. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's Taya, she deked the three. She dumped off number 12, Holly. Holly to Kashara, Kashara spinning, spinning, looking with the right hand floater, she misses that one. And that'll be picked up by Tava. Tava to Foe, Foe driving up the lane, full head of steam. The right hand floater, she misses short. Kashara with the rebound. Kashara gives it off to Jordan Peterson. Jordan to number two, Leslie. Leslie Tava with the ball. Maya's picked up the pass. And now Foe will be driving up the left side of the court, guarded by Kashara. Crosses one way, spins to the left. Now Kashara comes up with the ball. That was a good steal by number five on Pierce. Yeah, Kashara defense. gives it off to Jordan. Jordan in the post, gives it off to Holly. Holly with the jumper, misses. There's Ty, Ty with the left hand lay. As another two points for Pierce. Pierce with a 14 point lead with four minutes and 55 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Seems like everywhere a Centralia player goes, there's a Pierce player there right. guarding them. And they're playing some very aggressive man defense. Uh, here's my corner three. Misses left. Uh, Kylie and Leslie fighting for the ball. And that will be Pierce ball. Here's some substitutions here. Uh, Layla Cheney will be coming in. And Ajang will be entering the game once again. I believe that'll be a timeout taken so by... We're still seeing uh, the same as we saw in the first... Uh, well, you know, at the beginning of the second half when uh, Kate Carpenter was in, we saw a little bit of difference in both the offense and defensive play of Centralia. Yeah. 
But once she went out, we're seeing a similar game as we did in the first half where Pierce is really causing a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. They don't have to worry about the, the paint as much, and they can come out on the perimeter and, and uh, deflect more of those passes. I think when uh, Carpenter was in there, they had to worry about her. And that opened up things. So at one point, right. do they put her back in? You know? Right. Uh, you know, at this point, I would wait for late game situation. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they sit her out for the entire third quarter. Yeah. Um, and even some of the fourth quarter. Uh, they really want that that big presence. And so far, I mean, Centralia has been battling. Uh, I think they just need to get a game plan together and stick to that game plan. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like sometimes they're improvising a little too much, a little bit too much of an errant pass here and there. So I think if, they're game, if they can game plan against this tough defense that Pierce is putting on right now, um, they can bring it within a reasonable score for when Kate has to come back in. She doesn't have to, we don't have to rely on Kate as much. Right. Yeah, they don't want to, because you never know, you could be close at the end and you need Kate in there. And so right. that's. Here's Jordan. Jordan gives off number 15. Back to Jordan, three point line. Tipped away, give off to Leslie. Jordan tempting the three pointer, guarded by Kylie. Cut. Number 15 on Pierce. Layla Cheney with the three-pointer. Pierce now with a 17-point lead. Here's Kylie, now number 22. Tava with the ball, gives off to Maya. Maya driving to the middle of the lane, dumps off to Tava. Tava with the right-hand leg, misses. Claps in frustration. Here's Leslie coming up the right side of the court, driving through the lane. The attempted uh, Euro step slipped out of her hands, but. Number of uh, layups missed by Centralia in the second half, too. Yeah. Just rushing it maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, maybe. Getting a little antsy, wanting to score quicker so they can have some time to actually gain the lead. Here's Kylie with the ball. Kylie dumps it off to Tava. Tava to Mauricia. Mauricia driving, going to drive through the lane. She loses the ball. Kashara comes up with it, and she tips it out of bounds. I believe that'll be Centralia ball. Alyssa Vandenberg comes in for Tava. Centralia coach talking with the referees. Sorting out the scoreboard. Now again underway. Mauricio with inbounding the ball. Gives off to Kylie in the corner three. Quick corner three. Oh, just barely makes it. Ah, here's Kashara. Kashara gives off to Jordan, almost behind her head. So that'll be a travel. So the errant pass by Kashara made Jordan grab the ball. Wasn't paying attention. Well, wasn't paying attention, but she's grabbing the ball. Didn't allow her to dribble in time. So that's why the travel was called. Here's Kylie giving off to Marisa. Marisa with a deep three. This is left. Kashara. Almost came up with the ball, but gives it off to Jordan. Jordan, nice spin move against Maya to Kashara. Kashara driving up the baseline. The Leslie in left-hand corner misses. And Marisa comes up with the ball. Gives it off to Kylie. Kylie guarded by a Jang, the toughest defender. Switched off to Maya. Maya to Marisa, half court. Gives off corner three to Ellie. Ellie driving to the paint, having some trouble. I believe that'll be Centralia's ball. Centralia ball. Yeah, Pierce playing really tough defense right now. I, yeah, a lot uh, of double teams. Uh, you know, it seems like they're just following the ball wherever they go. Right. But really I think when Carpenter was in there, I wasn't seeing as much. All right. Here's Kylie. She, she gives it, or she tried to give it off to Ellie, but Taya ended up intercepting the pass. Taya with the right hand lay. She makes it in. That'll be an extra point attempt for Pierce. Pierce with a 19 point lead. Two minutes and change. And slowly pulling away. Be so in substitutions. It, and again, uh, both teams have made the playoffs. That they'll have identical records. I don't know what the tiebreaker is gonna be right. as far as that goes if Pierce ends up winning this game. Number 12, Holly enters the game for Pierce as long with uh, Layla Cheney. Now we see Foe back in the game for Centralia. 
It's a 20 point lead now for Pierce. Kylie taking up the ball. Started by a Jang. Kylie driving to the left. Gives off to Ellie. Ellie, once again, guarded by a Jang to Foe. Foe trying to make something happen. She's getting double teamed very quickly there. Foe gives off to Kylie. Kylie to Ellie. Ellie, deep two in the corner. Bang. Excuse me, three. That'll be, bring the lead up. Oh, no, sorry, the scoreboard. The scoreboard was wrong on that one. Uh, there's a Jang, a Jang on the baseline. Misses the left hand layup. That would be a jump ball. Jump ball Pierce. Okay, substitute coming in for Centralia. Tava coming in for Mauricia. So Earl going Pierce's way on this. So they get the ball up by 18. Seems like uh, Centralia's just having to claw and scratch to just get their points, and right. Pierce is coming down and hitting their buckets pretty quickly. Yeah. Jordan dumps off to Taya. Taya trying to make something happen off the double team. And Jordan was wide open, the left hand corner three. Easily drains that shot. And now Pierce with a 20 point lead. Kylie guarded by a Jang heavily. Now Fu, Fu with the ball. Gives off back to Ellie. Ellie at the, at Ellie at half court. Back to Tava. Tava to an open Kylie. And she makes the three. Off the right hand side. So Centralia bringing in three more points, close the gap. There's Taya. Taya driving in the middle of the lane by the three point line. 15 for Pierce with the missed floater, the air ball. Alyssa Vanderberg picks up the defensive rebound. And now Ellie Fleming will take up the ball, gives it off to Fa, or Fo, excuse me. Fo. Trying to make something happen here for the Trailblazers. She gives off to Ellie. Ellie, open three. She just rims it around. And now Tava, the offensive rebound. She picks it back up, the right-handed lay, and makes it in. So now, you know, five-point streak here for the Trailblazers. Uh, Taya had an opportunity for an open three there. She's driving through the paint, and that'll be a foul. And Ellie Fleming. Taya will make her way to the free point line. Who did they call that on? Uh, I believe Ellie. 22. Ellie Fleming. That's her third. So 35 seconds left in the third quarter here. Uh, Leslie enters the game for Pierce. So Taya makes her first. So far, a tough game for Centralia. Mm -hmm. Still enthusiastic, though, the bench clapping for their team. Here's Layla. Layla, the three-pointer. This is to the right. Okay, travel now, there. Yep, that'll be a travel. That'll be Centralia ball. Almost looks like a push by a Centralia player there, too. <laughs> Here's Foe. Foe guarded very quickly by Taya. And Foe drives through the lane, but I think there's a shooting should, foul there. Yeah, she'll get a foul. Kind of a strategy maybe he should have gotten a little bit earlier to try to get some fouls on Pierce. Right. You know, be very aggressive in the middle of the paint. You know, make them get antsy. Make them swat the ball. Foe misses her first shot. So Trailer to bring it within one. She makes that one. So now Taya Parker bringing up the ball for Pierce. Gives off to Kashar with the easy bucket there. The left-handed lay. Pierce making quick work at the end of the third quarter here. Now Fra bringing up the ball. Seeing if there's a late point opportunity here in the third quarter. Oh, shoot. She's driving through the baseline, the right-handed lay. She misses. And now the defensive rebound by number 15, Layla. End the third quarter here. Watch some court. Centralia 38, Pierce 55. 
Yeah, again, I think with uh, Carpenter out, uh, well, that's probably going to be the biggest story of this game, with her out. I, it just seems like the offense and defense is just completely different, right? So far, yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there, it's a lot of small ball, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of guards trying to make up for that, that big presence. I mean, uh, the forwards are doing, so far, a, a decent job of maintaining it, but it is still really tough to, you know, Right, hold that centerpiece. That's you know that's probably the offense you've used the whole season. Right, and now you've got that to change, and then how do we uh, how do we adjust to that? So and then Pierce with the swarming defense has really really caused a lot of problems. Right. So 55, 38. At the end of the second, at the end of the half, it was 33-22. Pierce making quick work in the third quarter here against the Trailblazers. Really stretching the lead from what was a 33 to 22. Yeah, point so they effort. scored 22 points in the third quarter. Pierce did in, Centralia scored 16. So Kate is back on the floor for the fourth quarter. Seems to be the original starting lineup from tonight. Mauricio will be taking up the ball here at the broadcast table. Here's Maya off to Foe. Foe being guarded by Ty. The screen by Tava. Just gives off to Mauricio with the contested corner three. And Kashar comes up with the ball. Leslie, the left-hand side, gives off to Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson gives off to Kashar. The right-hand lay misses. Kate already making a presence here for the Trailblazers, grabbing that defensive board. Maya bringing up the right side of the court. Being guarded by Kashara. Having some trouble. Kashara swats the ball away. She gives it off to Mauricia. Mauricia to Kate. Kate with a right-handed lay. Misses. Kashara brings up another defensive board. Or excuse me. Yeah, defensive board. Here's Jordan Peterson, number three. Bang! Jordan Peterson extending the lead for Pierce here. In a 20-point deficit, almost stole the ball away from Tava. Number two, Foe misses high on that three-point shot. Kashara bringing up the ball to Taya. Taya with the right-hand lay. That's Centralia now 22 points behind Pierce. Here's Foe. Maya bring up the ball. Gives off to her sister, Mauricia. She boots it away, and Kashara again has the ball. Gives it off to Leslie with the easy left-hand lay. Now Centralia down 24 points. And I think all Centralia can do right now is just kind of chip away, see if they can bring it within a few. Uh, but right now the deficit is, is very large, so let's we'll see if they can play some very good basketball here. Here you go. There's two points by uh, number 34, Maya. Kashara with the jumper misses. Thorne Pearson comes up with the ball. Taya at the three-point line gives it back off to Kashara, but Maya Barnett swats it away. Double team by Taya. And Layla. This is the right hand lay. Layla bring out the ball. She gives it off to Leslie, who's open, but Kate Ooh. with a good block by that three-point shot by Leslie Lewis. Yes. Here's Maya Barnett. She dumps it off to Foe, guarded by Kashara with the right hand lay. Now Centralia. Back-to-back -back layups. Get Carpenter getting a couple, you know, if you get a couple of those swats like that, it really changes what the uh, offensive players do. Right. Oh, another and block right another there. Yeah. So, really, with that presence in the middle, you know, you get a ball swatted away. The next time you come in, you you change your shot or you shoot a little quicker, right. and you know, you're not as effective sometimes because of that. Right. Yeah, there's, uh, I mean, there's a number of small players that are uh, on the floor right now for Pierce, and when. You know, they're right in the center of where Kate's standing. I mean, it's, it's really tough for them to get that shot up. Here's Foe with the missed floater. Back up Tava with the putback. That'll be another two points. Here's Jordan Peterson coming up the right side. Got by Mauricia. She spins out of it. Drives up the lane. Right hand lane misses. A jang. Like uh, another the block back. Kate making her presence known with three blocks already in what seems to be about two minutes span here. 
Here's Fo at the three point line. Quarter by Jang. Cross court pass to Mauricia. Mauricia back to Fo. Fo drives through the lane. The Euro step. Floater. She misses that one. Seems to be a collision. And a Centralia player is on the ground. So it'll be a timeout for the injury here. Hopefully she looks like she's getting up. She'll be okay. Fo seemingly has hit her head. Shaken up a bit. So it's 6:41, fourth period, 62-44, and we really we have felt that Carpenter presence. We have making a big difference. Spo shakes it off. She says she's fine. She attempts her free points. She misses left. It's a reassurance from Kate. Saying you'll be all right. That's her second attempt. Special short. That's picked up by Layla. Layla driving up the right side of the court for Pierce. She tries to dump it off to a Jang, but it's tipped out of bounds. That'll be some trillia ball once again. There's some subs made. So Kylie's coming in for foe. Kylie with the ball. Be guarded by Layla. Kylie trying to make some quick work here. Maya guarded by a Jang at the three-point line. Trying to find some work here. Mauricia back to Maya. Back to Tava. What a beautiful sequence there. Very quick, very precise passing. Yeah. Um, you know, so where's that been all game? I know. Some of the best passing we've seen all game. Yep. Oh, here's Kate with the defensive board. Well, Maya bring up the ball, got it by a Jang. Maya, Kylie. Kylie gives it off to Kate. Kate to Mauricia. Maya once again with the ball. Almost double teamed there for a second there, but Maya gives off to Kylie. The shot clock. Seven seconds to go on the shot clock. Kylie's trying to make some quick work. Attempts the two pointer. She falls over in attempt. That'll be a jump ball. Pierce will gain collection of the ball. There's a sub for Pierce here. Uh, Holly will be coming up for hit, or excuse me, Holly will be coming up for Layla. And the Trailblazers try to chip away at this. 46 to 62 score. Timeout by Pierce. And so far, good things seen on the offensive side. Yeah. Um, and uh, and honestly, the defensive side as well. I've seen a lot of good defensive boards being picked up now. Um, and that one sequence with Tava at the finish yeah. was, you know, was a really Probably great sequence. one of the best plays all night. Right. Like the passing was crisp, and uh, it looked like they, they were playing with a the purpose there, where I think with uh, Carpenter going out and them not used to having her out, they looked a little lost there, not really sure right. what they should be doing. Especially with that suffer uh, the stuffing defense, uh, I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. Like they were very uh, tentative on their passes, what they should do. So, but you know, again, this is uh, this game. I mean, it seems like it should be. It's a tune-up for the playoffs. Both teams are in, no matter what. And uh, I, but it's not a uh, it's not a good tune-up game for Centralia. But maybe, you know, it could turn out to be because maybe, you know, Carpenter w gets an early foul in a playoff game and they've uh, seen seen this before. They've got to uh, adjust without her. Well, it's tough uh, for Centralia because, I, I mean, three of the starters on Pierce, Leslie, Jordan, and Kashar, are all sophomores. Mm -hmm. And Centralia has no sophomores. Yeah. Uh, being it's a new program. Or, a, sorry, revitalized program, I yeah. should say. Yeah. Um, so the sophomores just have more experience, and that, and that I, I believe that's why they're able to make these very mature decisions passing-wise, mm -hmm. uh, and they're putting themselves in the right spots uh, to grab those boards defensively as well. Right, playing in a system for a couple years really does make a difference. And Leslie, the three-pointer, she airballs that. Tava with a rebound. Tava out to Maya. Maya pushing the ball up court here. But Jang, some heavy defense on Maya. Very aggressive. Kashar almost swats the ball away. Maya to her sister. 
And then back to Ellie on the baseline. The right-handed lay misses, tipped away. Now Holly grabs the ball off of a tip of a jang. And here's Jordan Peterson for Pierce. Goes off to Holly with the open three, but she drives in to the three-point line. She misses wide right. And Maya bringing up the ball now. Her sister, Mauricia, twins. The open three, she misses short. Holly with the defensive board to Jang, bringing up the ball for Pierce. Back to Jordan Peterson, to Kishara, and the high right-handed lay misses. Now uh, almost a cherry pick to Tava. She misses the right-handed lay, and the Jang will pick up that ball. The Jang gives off to Kishara in the corner. Kishara driving up through the baseline. Got off to Leslie Luna with the open three. A Jang to Holly to Kishara. I believe they're just going to try and run up the clock here. Yeah, I mean, there's no use to just come down and try to shoot right away. Right. Carpenter with the deflection there. And yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, why? Let's, we've got a big lead. Let's just run out sometime. Take the extra pass or three passes, extra three passes. Right. And uh, just get, wind that clock down. Four minutes, two seconds left. Timeout now. And. Uh, 62-46. So we're, I mean, I mean, we're seeing a different energy, really, with, uh, I mean, I don't want to harp on it, but with Carpenter in there, just a whole different game. Yeah. Well, Ice and Troy, they just seem more confident. And, of course, she's only a freshman, too, so she'll be back. All right. And, Pierce, you, yeah, you mentioned they have one, two, three, four sophomores. Yeah, who are mostly starters, does make a very big difference. You play with your uh, teammates for two years. You're in the same system for two years. Um, you, you don't have to second guess where you think the player might be. Right. Uh, Talia Spencer, the only one who hasn't stepped on the court yet. I think she is the one injured player on the mm. sideline, if I had to guess. One of the two. Here it is now, four minutes and change. The final quarter of this matchup of Pearson Centralia women's basketball. Foe is back in the game, guarded by Taya. Striking up the right side of the court. Trying to make some work here. Here's Maya, guarded by a Jang. Maya with a jumper, misses. Alyssa Vanderberg swats out of bounds. 13 on the shot clock. But well, they're giving it a 20 now. Well, it's back to 13. Maya's bringing up the ball. So, kind of an errant throw, errant pass to Tava. And it's picked off by Kashar, the sophomore. She runs up the right side of the court. Looking for Taya. Taya. The ball was tipped slightly to Jordan, but no problem. But she couldn't handle it. And then Ajang passes the ball out of bounds towards the broadcast booth. Now one of the spectators gets the ball off to the ref. Foe for the inbound. Maya guarded by Ajang. Maya driving up the baseline. Missed right hand lay. Maya with the putback. Tava with the putback, excuse me. Very patient with that shot. Right. So missed about three Easy shots there, and then she just kind of slowed it down. Yep. It was patient, uh, and it allowed it for a foul. So three minutes, 18 seconds to go this fourth quarter. It's Tava she misses that three-pointer. Second half of the doubleheader coming up after this game. I think we've got a, at least a 20-minute break between games, and then we'll have the men's game. Start right around seven. Bit of a crowd now. In anticipation for both uh, the women's and the men's games. Shout out to Kaylee, the ticket booth for the front of Michael Smith Gymnasium. If you want to come down and watch some Centralia basketball, go see her, grab your ticket, watch some basketball. During the uh, in-between games, I'll have to stick my head out and see what the rain's like out there and the wind. Yeah, be so careful out there. Uh, Pierce content to just kind of pass the ball, still by Centralia, though. Yep. So, Foe 
after a missed rebound by Maya. She seems to be frustrated slightly by that. Maya will be the inbounder. Get off to Kate, but it slips through her hands, and Taya on Pierce brings the ball up once again, guarded by Foe. I believe now is the time to run out the clock for Pierce. Yep. Layla to Kashara. Kashara dumps off to Jordan Peterson. They'll run, run by the water. Shot team. clock down. 11 right now. Pierce just trying to kill time now. Comfortable with their lead. Here's Taya with the right hand lay. She makes that one. So 2 14 left. In this game, it's uh, no way that Stray is going to come come back on this. So they'll both be at eight and four on the season for at least league play. And there's Layla with the defensive board. She gives off to Leslie Luna, guarded by Kate. It's blocked again by Kate. I think Kate has now four blocks in just one quarter. So that'll, that'll really make your teammates think about taking it in the paint, putting it up like that. 100%. And, uh, early, you know, there was a couple, I don't know, questionable fouls on Kate Carpenter earlier in the game. It didn't look like she touched the player, but from the angle of the ref, uh, they, they seem to think that she did. Here's a Jang. Almost a wide open right hand. Yeah. Layup. That was a bit surprising there. A little. Yeah, both There's defenders. Alyssa Vandenberg with the right handed lay. Both defenders. Moved and she was wide open. Yeah. I mean, it may have psyched her out. That's, <laughs> that's probably why uh, she had missed that one. But um, you know, Jang doing a pretty fantastic job for Pierce. So no harm, no foul. Here's Layla, guarded by Vanderberg. Layla driving through the paint with a right-handed layup. She misses. Tava with the rebound. Foe driving the ball up for Centralia. Some double teams, and she makes the right-handed layup. Wow, what a layup. Under a minute now left in the game. Here's number 20, Taya. Trying to run the ball out for Pierce here. And Jordan Peterson to Taya, to Jang. Jang looking for Jordan Peterson through the paint. Makes the right hand lay. Centralia, 52. Pierce, 66. 38 seconds to go. In the going final quarter of this game. There's Maya to Kate. Back to Maya. Maya being double teamed. With the left hand side of the court. She's on the baseline. She makes the right handed layup for another two points. So just a little bit of fury coming out for Centralia. Just trying to get their points in and you know, kind of keep the atmosphere uh, you know, electric. Uh, here's a Jang. A Jang pass off to Leslie. Leslie rush toward the middle of the court. There's Taya. Taya guarded really heavily by Maya. Jordan Peterson guarded by Kate. Three second differential on the shot clock and the game clock. And there's Jordan Peterson with the ball. She's driving into the lane. Tries to dump it off to Layla. Layla ends up with the ball. And that is game. Centralia 54, Pierce 66. These two playoff bound teams. Centralia in its first year of resurgence. So both teams will go to uh, what? Eight and four. But for this season, Centralia is uh, 14 and 13, and Pierce is 12 and 14. Pretty evenly matched teams. Uh, that we saw tonight. Yeah, I, I, you know, I really think it would be a different story if uh, Carpenter hadn't. But you know what? It that happens. Right. And you got to deal with that. So, but uh, you could see the maybe a whole different game out there without Carpenter getting those three quick fouls. Right. I feel like Centralia did handle that uh, well yeah. in the first half. They uh, did. But unfortunately, it kind of all just fell apart right after the third quarter and. Uh, once Pierce got that 11 point lead, I feel like that's when the momentum shifted to Pierce's side. Yeah, it seemed, you know, it, to me it seemed like uh, we came out in the third quarter and we had Carpenter out there and I think the team 
thought, okay, we're going to have our big center presence we're used to. And then she got that quick foul. And then all of a sudden, Pierce started to score quite a bit. So anyway, so we have uh, about 19 minutes before the second game will start tonight. And it's sophomore night here at Centralia College. So tonight we'll be honoring the men that are sophomores on our team. We have some, you see some balloons and some stuff up there. So they'll be uh, bringing those people out. I think they have them up here if you get the program. So if you're not here, you don't see the program, but the program has all the pictures of the sophomores and they'll be honoring them tonight. But let's look at this. Uh, we'll come back again. We'll take a little break, but we'll come back and talk more about the second game tonight. But if coming into this, uh, right now, Centralia College men are in seventh place, and they are 3-11 and in league and 6-21 and overall. Um, Pierce comes in at sixth place, 5-8 and and 11-17. So uh, as far as league play, Lower Columbia has one league. And then the teams that have made the playoffs so far are Green River, well, Laura Columbia, Green River, South Puget Sound, and Tacoma. Those are the top four teams, followed by Highland, Pierce, Centralia, and then Grays Harbor. So we'll be talking about that uh, a little bit more. Uh, Centralia, according to the NWAC, they've lost 11 in a row. So they'll be trying to get a win tonight, tough win, if they can get one. But anyways, we're gonna take a break so that Again, once again, the final score of the women's game tonight was Pierce College 66 and the Lady Trailblazers 54. So we'll catch up with you in about 15 minutes and we'll bring you the second half of our double header tonight.